Previously, I did a video on awesome daughters of narcissistic mothers, and I thought it's only fair to do one on the sons of narcissistic mothers. Now, this area has not had a lot of research, in fact, hardly any research. And I want to offer a platform for these kick ass sons to voice their views on this matter. Now, it's very common for narcissistic mothers to be enmeshed with their sons. It's very common for them to see them as emotional spouses, just as they see their daughters as emotional parents. So together, let's break this insidious cycle, not as biological siblings, but as spiritual siblings. Get ready for some seriously creepy stuff. Hi guys, I'm back. My name is Suli and I do all sorts of videos to do with spiritual awakening and personal growth. So if you're new here, welcome to the road least traveled. I had a steroid jab yesterday because I was stung by like 20 hornets. From They came from out of nowhere. You can't see the stings because they're all on my scalp. <laughs> all 20 on my scalp and I had the biggest headache in my life. So I drove straight to the doctors and the only thing that kept me conscious as I drove was the thought of my, my dogs. They're my children and they're not ready to be orphaned. It was as painful as F, okay? But after the steroid jab and some painkillers, it, it was kind of like tolerable. After 24 hours, it was tolerable. I just hope that it ignited my crown chakra if anything good can come out of it. So today I want to do one on the awesome sons of narcissistic mothers. It's a hard topic to tackle because the hallmark of um, narcissism, especially covert narcissism, the hallmark is triangulation. If you're not sure what triangulation means, what it means is the narcissist develops a very unique relationship with each individual so they can't compare notes so everyone has a different experience and you know if you find people saying huh no no you know she or he is a great person they have different experiences and this is a deliberate attempt to it's a classic case of divide and conquer people can't compare notes they can't unite they end up having very broken relationships because this is a deliberate effort by the narcissist to break people up. I have a friend who has very overt narcissistic parents and she said one day she and her sisters were, were talking about this and they began to compare notes. Oh, did, did dad say that about you? Did mom say that about you? They soon discovered that the parents were lying about each sibling to the other in an effort to triangulate. These are overt narcissists without the intelligence or the awareness of a covert narcissist. Overt narcissist is slightly more excusable and may even be open to healing, may be open to going for therapy, but not the covert type because the covert type is very, very smart very intelligent. They probably have an IQ level of over 130, maybe even 140. They are so smart and nobody would guess in a million years what the real story is. So in a covert narcissistic dynamic, the siblings are pitted against each other and they grow to either hate each other, envy each other, suspicious of each other, or just think the other sibling is mentally ill. In truth, Nobody in the family is mentally ill, only the narc. The narc is the only person who's mentally ill, who single-handedly made everyone mentally ill. Now, coming back to sons of narcissistic mothers, I just want to, you know, because there's not much information, and that's because generally guys don't open up as much in order to, to have their family dynamic researched. And that's why we don't have a lot of information on the sons of narcissistic mothers and how their lives are affected. So I want this as a platform. If you are the son of a narcissistic mother, I want this to be a platform for you to voice your opinions because I would dearly like to know. And I'm sure many daughters would also like to know because we don't have a relationship with our siblings. We have such a, a, a different idea 
that any kind of unity ain't never going to happen. But with spiritual siblings like us, we can use this platform to share information and shed light on certain things that we're not aware of. We don't know the story of the other person. We don't know the story of the son with a narcissistic mother. Now, there are two potential paths for the son of a narcissistic mother. One is to remain asleep and, and perpetuate the cycle by marrying a woman who's exactly like his mother. The second path is if they awaken, they will break free from this. They will make the effort to heal themselves and to find out more about this insidious dynamic. And these are mostly guys with very balanced masculine and feminine energies. But what I know for sure is that there's always enmeshment. In the daughter's case, she's an emotional parent to the, to the narcissistic mother. In the case of the son, he is an emotional spouse. And in many cases, there is some kind of sexual element to it. Same with daughters of narcissistic fathers. And I don't want to go there because it's creepy as hell. All right? So if you're an awakened son of a narcissistic mother, I would dearly like to hear your views, your experiences, what you went through. I'm sure daughters of narc mothers would also like to know because they also have siblings who have isolated them and they're not talking to each other. This is a short video because I really don't have much to say about the sons of narcissistic mothers. And this is why I would dearly love to hear about your experiences. And I'm sure others would as well. So we, as spiritual siblings, can unite. We can unite against this insidious form of mental abuse, creepy form of mental abuse. We can break the cycle, not as biological siblings, but as spiritual siblings. Cheers to that. It's just strawberry juice. So if you like this video, please remember to make a comment. Please share your experiences with us if you don't mind. Like and subscribe and make sure that this channel reaches other people who might find it useful, who might find support in this community. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.